Kenneth Dwayne Robertson is an American mixed martial artist, who competes as a welterweight in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Before MMA, Robertson excelled in wrestling, where he was a three-time NCAA Division I qualifier for Eastern Illinois University. While competing for the Panthers he was a four-time West Regional Conference finalist. He took third his freshman year, second sophomore years in 2005, and then won the championship as a junior and senior in 2006 and 2007. As a junior in 2006, he was one match away from being an All-American at the NCAA Championships. His senior year was the last year that Eastern Illinois University sponsored a wrestling program, making Robertson the last NCAA qualifier the school ever had. Mixed Martial Arts equals Early Career equals Robertson compiled a 10-0 professional MMA record before signing with the UFC including a submission win over TUF alum John Colossi at Bellator XXV. Equals Ultimate Fighting Championship equals, Robertson was expected to make his UFC debut against fellow unbeaten fighter, Pascal Krauss on November 13, 2010, at UFC 122. However, Robertson was forced out of the bout with an injury and replaced by Mark Scanlon. Robertson eventually made his UFC debut on February 5, 2011 at UFC 126, losing to Mike Pierce via TKO in the second round. Following the loss, Robertson was released from the promotion. Equals post UFC equals, Robertson had his first post UFC fight against fellow UFC veteran Lakyle in Hairs on October 1, 2011. He won via KO due to a spinning back fist in round one. Equals return to UFC equals, Robertson made his UFC return against Aaron Simpson on July 11, 2012 at UFC on Fuel TV, Munoz vs. Weedman, replacing an injured John Fitch. He lost the fight by a unanimous decision. Robertson defeated Brock Jardine on February 23, 2013, at UFC 157. He was victorious in the first round after applying a unique leg lock from back control getting the submission. The finish earned him the submission of the night bonus. The kickstand applies pressure to the hamstring of the opponent by grabbing the ankle and hyperextending at the knee. Robertson faced Sean Pearson on June 15, 2013 at UFC 161. Pearson defeated Robertson via majority decision. Robertson was expected to face Jai Zifrino on September 4, 2013 at UFC Fight Night 28. However, Robertson pulled out of this bout citing an injury and was replaced by UFC newcomer Elias Silverio. Robertson faced Zygo Purpa Copyright Turu on March 23, 2014 at UFC Fight Night 38. He won the fight via submission in the first round. Robertson was briefly linked to a bout with Zach Cummings on July 16, 2014 at UFC Fight Night 45. However, Cummings was pulled from that fight in favor of a matchup with Gunnar Nelson a few days later at UFC Fight Night 46 after his opponent Ryan LaFleur was removed from the card. Subsequently, Robertson eventually faced Aldemar Alcas sent NTARA on July 5, 2014 at UFC 175. He won the fight by a unanimous decision. Robertson faced Sultan Aliyev on January 24, 2015 at UFC on Fox 14. He won the fight via knockout in the first round. The win also aired Robertson his first performance of the night bonus award. Robertson was expected to face George Sullivan on April 18, 2015 at UFC on Fox 15. However, Robertson pulled out of the bout citing injury and was replaced by Tim Means. Robertson faced Ben Saunders on July 25, 2015 at UFC on Fox 16. He lost the back-and-forth fight by split decision. Championships and Achievements, Ultimate Fighting Championship, Performance of the Night, Submission of the Night. Mixed Martial Arts Record. See also. List of current UFC fighters, List of male mixed martial artists. References. External links. Professional MMA record for Kenny Robertson from Shudog.